KSM Show. Hi, this is Rex Omar, and you are watching KSM. Keep watching. Yeah, we're back. I'm hanging out with a brother from another mother. I wanna, before we took the break, we we're talking about the words, man. Yeah. You came up with some words that. Yeah. G give me some quiet jazz and about the both for the. Yeah. What, what you know, that come from? Can I, can I hear a little bit before? Yeah. You? But all these were derived out of girls. Girls. You know, because, you know, younger days, you know, and things like that. You know, I remember when we came back from school and things like that, we used to chase girls, mm -hmm. you know, uh, from Sekendu, we'd go to Isikado, you know, go, you know, because there are some beautiful girls around there. And when we got to Isikado, the boys, when they see us coming, they, they start to stone us. <laughs> you know, they, 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 they stone us and things like that. But, you know, in women, we have, you know, some that have the Coca-Cola shape and things like that. We have some too that have some bodies and then, but all the informations we had works for them. The words that the, if you are slim, yeah, man, say man, she's about to help deaf, man. About to help them? Yeah, about to help them, man. <laughs> you know, if you are, you know, body and things like, yeah, is this about the boom foom, man? About the boom foom? Yeah, man. What's the boom foom? Boom foom is about the boom and the foom. <laughs> <laughs> About a boom boom. Yeah. About a hebedem. Yes. Wow. And uh, about a quadges, man. And the quadges is? Yeah, quadges is uh, man, your friend meets you. Oh, Charlie, like, uh, Charlie, uh, uh, how is it? How is it? You know? And then it's, oh, yeah, the way you're going. So, man, it's about the quadges, man. <laughs> you know? Every time it's about the quadges, it means that, you know, things are. You know, kind of, kind of rough a little bit. Kind of rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. About the quadges. Yeah, man. These are rough <laughs> a little bit. You know. And when things are moving and things like mm -hmm. that, you go, yeah, man. Hey, Charlie, what's up, man? Oh, man, it's about a Tusa, man. <laughs> yeah. Tusa. Yeah. <laughs> Tusa means it's happy. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, uh, you know, creativity, you know, dived in. So we started to create it, you know, creating more words. Especially mm -hmm. when I got involved into music and started to entertain mm -hmm. and things like that, then it means we need to add more words. Mm -hmm. and so, I started coining, coining more words into the formations of my lyrics mm, and things like mm, that. Mm. And it's been working, man. It's been working because when I look at uh, people from Accra, you know, especially back in the second year, Accra musicians, they like singing about food. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, they say, I believe, I believe, I believe, <laughs> food and things like that. And James Brown too was doing that. Israel. Yeah, like mashed potato popcorn. <laughs> man, you know, we're all thinking about food. You know, so we too are going about the buff fruit, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. James Brown, you know, yeah. you, you, this is naming some of your lyrics here. Yeah. James Brown went to buy a Kogari yeah, or something. He, yeah, and he liked uh, James Brown, you know. Uh, Mr. Ap Apollo Level wants to see James Brown. Yes, yes. And because he liked your Kogari too, too much, much, man, call him so. Amada. So. Yoko Gari. So. Yeah, man. It's all about. What do you come up with these words? I mean, are you just having fun or you seriously sit down and write them down? Yeah, to... yeah. Because, you know, food is very essential yeah. for humans. So anything in connection with food, you know, that yeah. adaptation is very easy. Yeah. You know. Because that gets the, everybody on the floor be thinking with you. Yeah, Amada, yeah. Amada, yeah. so. Yeah, Yoko, Yoko Gari, Gari, so. You know. About the one country and one terror and one blue and one function one fee. You know, and, you know, so the words kept on coming. Mm. You know, mm. and um, in course of entertainment, you need to be creative anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because people pay money to come and, you know, look at you. And, en and enjoy entertainment. Yes, you have yes. to entertain them. Mm. And mm. you must know because you just, just go stand there. No, 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 no. Some instigations and things like that needs to be, you know, you need to be instigated, you know, by mm. so many forms mm. and, uh, you know, but you need to have that. If you don't have it naturally, you goof, man. Wow. wow. You know, but sometimes my walking on stage and things like that, you know, I can do something that the audience will start to laugh mm -hmm. and things like that. The moment they start to laugh, boom, you got them. You got them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's all about keeping them captivated every yes. step of the way. But it's very important. Wow. Well, you know, because well. man gets bored so mm, easily. Mm, mm. But you have to take them out of their bodies, mm, man. Mm, mm. You know? And I, I noticed that, um, so you look at the current crop of musicians now. Who, who, do you, 
who do you, do you do you listen to any of them and is there any particular one that you you love their style for whatever reason uh yeah i've been listening to uh, most of them uh i've seen some fake ones in there fake yeah <laughs> we have a lots of fake ones in there and we have the real ones too mm. in there who are real um um i think that uh, beginning when I came back from America, when I, what I saw Obrafo uh, uh, was doing and the way he was rapping with the local mm -hmm. dialects mm -hmm. and things mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. I, was, I said, yes, that is the thing. Okay. okay. You know, the only thing with him is that he hasn't got music you know, to back what he's doing because mm -hmm. they are too, using, too much using foreign mm -hmm. you know, music to uh, support their, uh, their raps and things like that. And if you look at Kufit Kenata's them, it is then you see there's a combination of singing as well as rapping and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. It's a good format, mm -hmm. you know. And many of them calling for collaboration. They want to, you know. That was going to be my next question. Mm -hmm. are, are you thinking about that? Who would you do a collaboration? Did you uh, do something with is it Adina or Adina or something? Uh, no, I did something with Sway. Sway okay. in London. I did something with TikTok. TikTok. Okay. To yeah, to out, I did something with them, but the reason why I stopped was, um, you know, they trying to do too many sharp sharp music, because when they get to the studio, they want to do about ten songs in a day, mm. and then you that's not your style. No, you can't do music like that, man. Mm. What's your style? You want to, uh, you are doing something for somebody to put his hands in his pocket and buy. You have to make sure that whatever that you're giving out is properly structured. Mm. It's very very important. You just can't, you know, just like you're making sharp, sharp soup and things like that. No, no, no. If anybody's going to enjoy your food, it's the ingredients of the yeah, food. Yeah. You know, and I'm very much particular with that. Mm, mm, so many a times some friends see me, oh, Charlie, we heard, we heard of your music, uh, you know, a long time. So what is happening? Like, no, it's not like uh, uh, my junior brother, Shatawale, is them that, you know, every month they want to come out with something. Every month, they, no, 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 no. It's not like that. Because if you look at those back over there, that the re stars, you're talking about Steve Wonders, them, and Michael Jackson, and all kinds, they don't do everything, you know, every month coming out with music, no. They take time to prepare the music, prepare the lyrics, prepare the dance, and then so when it comes, then it becomes a, um, um, an indelible stamp. Mm. It's very important. Mm. So uh, that's what I've taken now, and any music that I will lay down, I mean, about the Bullfruit and uh, Ejun, I mean, them, I, I released them in 1996. Wow. And, and still. And today, today, when I'm driving around, even school children that weren't born at that time, yeah. when they say, about the Bullfruit, <laughs> I'm, 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 very, happy, I'm mm -hmm. very, very happy with that, mm -hmm. that they weren't born when yeah. I made my music, but they've grown up to, to able to it, identify it. and things like that. Mm -hmm. So. That is a word that my father used for me, and it's been at the back of my head. You what know. did your father say? He spoke about an indelible stamp. And indelible that, stamp. yes, that word never ever leave me. Because it means that when you lay down something, it, be like, it looks like it has to be there forever. Mm. Mm. But if it's properly done, it's going to be there forever. Yeah. And I mean, uh, this is just you know, it's, you're just satisfying to what I said, because I was talking about the enjoying music in 1973, and that same song today. Yes. Smokadu, what, what, what? <laughs> yeah, the Smokadu, her, Kwajis, Baha, about the Bustan, Bustan, about the Kwajis. Kwajis. My man, I'm going to talk about the Heba. I want to enjoy what you mean. That was it. This was in 73, oh, we still, yeah. Wow, I see, yeah, I see, yeah. I see, I see, I see, you I see. Know, and mm. you know, it's been a long road, and uh, I've really enjoyed the road because, mm -hmm. you know, music is information and education. We need to pass it on mm -hmm. to the up and coming, you know, so that they can move on. But the up and coming are doing sharp, sharp music. They mm. don't want to. Is it maybe it's a gener generational thing that that's the generation, these young kids that. They want you to turn out things, you know. They say we yeah. have another microwave mentality. Thank you. Put the microwave, quack, 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 three seconds, it should come Th out. Thank you. Is that what we're talking about? Maybe that's there's the, a... That's what we're talking about. Mm. Because now, because of the computers and everything, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. become, it's, come, it's become an, an easy access. Yeah. And the computers have got some fruity loops. You would, uh, 
uh, beat and everything in it. So they're taking advantage of that. Mm. That's fine. But you must know the kind of advantage you're taking because the computer is there for you to use. Mm. You know, it cannot tell you what to do. You have to tell it what to do. But in telling what to do, you must know what to tell it, you know, for it to respond for what you want it to do. You know, it's not that you get beat or things like because the younger ones, when somebody make, makes a hit, then they say, oh, yeah, I like the, I like the beat of that thing, yeah. So program, you know, that's in format for me. And they want to go and sound and sing. And singing, now they're singing more patwa because now they want to sing like the Jamaicans. Patwa is, belongs to the Jamaicans. And we too, we have our own language here. The only thing is, since the coming out with patwa, it's coming from a country called Jamaica. We coming out with high life. And high life is coming from Ghana and West Africa. So it means that we need to allow the world to know what we have. Mm, mm, and it's mm. very important for us to, because every country has its music. Why are you going to leave yours and pick up somebody's? And, uh, uh, and the radio stations, the young, young ones, they're all hailing them because the, if you go to most of the radio stations, look at the, the DJs, look at their age groups in their 20s. And all, they didn't come to me the high life and all that. So what they met was dance hall. So they think that that's, that's it. No. I keep on saying that before you become a DJ, you need to be schooled mm. at least for about three months, six months, teach you what was there, what is happening now, and expectations mm. of what Let me ask you quickly. Why is what was there necessary? Let's say this is your generation. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are into the, the, the fasting, go into the computer and produce and chat it out like uh, whatever. What's wrong with that? Why should they go and learn how you used to do it? It's just like the tree, man. It is the roots of the tree mm. that makes the tree strong to withstand what we call it tenders, uh, anything, the big mm. rains and things mm. like that. Because if the roots are not strong, they will fall. So they uh, need to go and study the roots. The, the roots is very important mm. because the roots are going to allow you to be strong. Because mm. if you know what is there and what is now, you can do combination mm. and things like that. And out of that creativity will come out. Mm. Mm. You cannot leave what, what, what belongs to you, your culture, and pick up somebody's culture and you think that it's happening. Mm. No way. Mm. That's a big mistake mm, mm. because every country has its culture. Mm -hmm. Every country has its music. So we mm. need to be proud of what we have. Can because anywhere that I go, yeah. high life, you know, about the Quadjis, about the Tusa, about the, it's, it's always with me because that's what made me. And I need not to leave because I like jazz music and things like that. Mm. But I can infuse jazz music into my high life. So that when all those over there hear it, they can feel themselves in what I'm doing. Mm. I'm not going to drop our life and be doing uh, reggae and things like all the uh, jazz. No way. That's a big mistake. Mm. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> How do you see the, the music scene? Because I know at one point you, you almost ran, or you didn't run for president for Musica. Oh, for yeah, Musica. the Musicians Union, yeah. What, what, what inspired that? Do you, you think you could have gone there and made some changes? And what changes were you looking at? Our music guy, it's our house, you know? And, and the house has to be in order. The structures of the house needs to be there. Because when I came back from America, looking at the older generational musicians, you know, some of them, if, if, they, if they pass away, they die, you go to their funerals, it's pathetic. If they are sick, they don't know where to go because the structures are not into place. Mm. So these are the things that we need to put them into place for us and for the next generation to come. Mm, mm. Because they are not there, most of these musicians and things like that, I mean, you see them today, you, you feel sorry for them. Because of that, if you have ch a child and you put football here and you put music here and ask him to choose one, he won't choose football. Yeah. Because looking at that, some agenda, yes, uh, but music is for life. Soccer, is for a certain age. When yeah. you get to a senior, you can't play anymore. Yeah. But music can do it for life. Yeah. Well, we have... still doing music. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. There was back, you know, back in the day with Louis Armstrong and uh, all of them. Louis Armstrong was in his 80s and he was still playing trumpet. Yeah. 
and things like that. So it's, it's a life born thing, mm. you mm. know. And these are the things that we need to, you know, because... So you're thinking about putting a structure, making music more structured, that's what you're saying? The structure um, of, is not strong enough to, to support? Is, yeah, the, but, but, you know, the only good thing that came to music was when the, the government gave out two million. Two million in the old, in the old cities is 20 billion. Musica could have been set for life with that money. So it was wasted? It's wasted. It came and fell into the hands of the, the younger rappers and things like that. They don't know rudiments of it. They don't know nothing. Now when you ask them how they use that money, they so we did a research. Well, hmm. what kind of research? Hmm. And it is, so you go to Musica house, I mean, it's, it's pathetic. Yeah. You know, and things that needs to be done hasn't been done. And... When I talk, sometimes people think that, oh, because oh, he didn't get the presidency. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, no way. It's my house. It's not, it's not about presidency. My name is even bigger than the presidency. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. 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 And my experience is here. My experience in Europe, my experience in America. Man, there are so many informations that I have, man, mm. that we need to pass it on. But we need to properly really structure it. Mm. You know, we have mm. to be doing some workshops and things like that, you know, so that uh, we can pass on the language, the information, mm. things like that. Mm. So this will come out of the changes you were seeking to, 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 yes, to infuse into music? It has to, yeah, because it needs to be done that way. Because everything, like I said, is based on information and education. Mm. And these two things are very, very, very important. Mm. Without them, it's always trial and error. Mm. Mm. You know, and okay. we're going to get the years wasted. Mm. Wow. From the point of view of a musician, I'm just throwing this in, how do you see the politics? Is it helping the creative industry? Is it, what, what's, what's your opinion on politics uh, in general in, in, yeah, in Africa? Yeah, you know, white man came down, laid down something that is called what, democracy and things like that, and we're following it, blind, and f we're following it blindly. Because whatever that, that was brought to us, we need to analyze those things, see the good ones and take them. Because now everybody is telling each other, go to school, go to school. What are you learning from school? We're not questioning that. I went to University of uh, Glegon and things like that. They're still now learning about Chopin, Mozart, and things like that. Mm -hmm. What has Chopin and Mozart got to do with our culture? <laughs> Whereas if from amongst them, and yeah. they are there, people that have contributed. These are where we need to bet. That's how it's set up. So instead of learning our own, we're learning about others. And that's what is killing us. Yeah. And we need to sit that because we are a people of different cultures in Ghana, different tribes in Ghana. All of us are Ghanaians. Every tribe has something to offer. So what are we doing? We need to put our minds together and see the way forward. It's not that when you open TV and today, the NDC is here, MPP is here, oh, your time, you did this, and then we are acting like children. Mm. So you find the whole politics petty? Is that what you're saying? It's very, even below that. It's below petty? Yes. It's Show below. some love. <laughs> no, because we, start, we need to think. You know, we are the same people. We, I mean, we travel out of Ghana, you go through uh, Kutuka Airport, when you come by, you come through it again. Come into, so it means that we are all the same people belonging to our country. So how can we make this country a better country for us and our children? These are the things that we need to be thinking about. It's mm. not that your time, you did this, or um, I can do better than you. Because if you have two children, then you have a business, and your two children are fighting, are you going to be happy? You're not going to be happy because eventually your business will, will, will be uh, disrupted. It won't go on. But if your children are sitting down to put their minds together, the business will thrive, will thrive. These are the things that we need to do. I mean, so uh, what is happening is like uh, we go to school to become educated, but educated fools. Educated fools? Yes. I'm serious about that. I'm not just, yes. Because sometimes we become educated and things like that. Education is following on what? Education is knowing who you are, where you came from, and what's your contribution, and things like to your, your, yourself, your family, and to your country. 
But if it's not there, that somebody is giving four years and things like to rule. He thinks that uh, the next four years is not guaranteed. So anything that he needs, he has to get it in these four years mm. and things like that. That's not education. Mm. <laughs> you know, and yeah. we not, there are some things that is not happening. One thing that I respect the white people about it is the white people, um, they came to enslave us. I don't like that and things like that. But they are very much particular. Their power is, is based on their wealth. So if you play with your wealth, whether you are white or you are black and things like that, you'll be jailed. If you misuse or embezzle, you know, state money and things like that, I mean, they will, they will, they will, they will discipline you directly. But here in Africa, somebody embezzles money and things like that, then he's relieved out of his post and sent to another post. Mm, mm. What, what is the meaning of that? Mm. Is, that we, is that how we're going to be teaching our children? So they know that they, when they also grew up and the embezzlement and things like that, they will send them to another post. Re re yeah. Reassigned. Yeah, reassigned. Mm. So it means that the kind of thing that we have that we call street sense, street sense, we are not applying that. We are applying book sense that is not working. Thank you very much. Okay. Because since Kwame Nkrumah's time, up to now, we had independence and things like that. How many years now today? And we're still borrowing money. And we're saying that something is wrong. Put your hands together, man. Something <laughs> <laughs> is wrong. Oh, Jeru, I wish I could talk to you for like six more hours, man. Well, because you, you, you know... There are more time. There's more time. We'll, we'll, we'll have a special, special, special time to hang out. And even, you're, you, you're married? Your, your wife is? Uh, my wife is an African-American. Yes, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. You know, I brought her here yeah. years, a lot of time ago. And uh, she's back over there, you know, now no planes are, fly, are flying. No so. planes flying. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you're all on lockdown. <laughs> we all locked up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and kids? Yeah, I have one boy. Oh, you have one boy. Yeah, okay. and uh, like you, I heard you talking about grandchildren. Yeah, I have grandchildren too. Oh, you too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have three grandchildren. Oh, you have three. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic, you know, fantastic. And um, uh, the unfortunate side of me is that uh, out of my family, I'm the only musician. You're the only musician. Yes, that came up. My father was playing the flute though, but he didn't take it up like I've took uh, taken it up. Okay. So. Uh, my son didn't do music. Your son is not into music. No, he likes singing though, but you know he didn't do it. But okay. the grandchildren, you know, yeah. rather one is taking is, trumpet, one really? is playing keyboard. So skip to the the, the, the uh, skip the generation. Yes, You're going down to your grandchildren. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, but hey, man, um, we have more time to talk. We have, but um, one of my favorite songs, mm -hmm. your song. You actually did it at a pro theater, Tofie. Yeah, Tofie, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you can go out on Tofie, then what can we grow? <laughs> <laughs> but let me apologize to the public, you know, on one yeah. thing. Because um, when I was going to sing, I did mention that uh, I was going to do um, Ajay Misa. But what I did was I went here. So oh, forgive okay. me for that. Okay, yeah. you are forgiven. But Thank we can you. do Tofie oh, we'll to do go. It. We'll, we'll do that. Okay. I'll do it for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> So let's, uh, let's uh, watch my brother from another mother. He's going to take us out with Tofie. But before you do it, I'd like to say thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Yeah, my brother, my colleague. And I, I beg you, let me hold your foot. Man, you're great, man. Oh, you are greater. Man, <laughs> tell me, so many times you stand alone, man, the audience, man. You, you know what you do to them, aren't you? You're great, man. Yeah, but I'm so delighted you're here, and I'm going to hear Tofie. Yes. This is my favorite. And so, show some love for him one more time. <laughs> and let's hear the Tofie. Yeah, man. All right.
exciting show and um, give it one more time to my guest. Yeah. 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 And before I go, I have to say a big thank you to George Keku. George Keku. Um, you remember one time I came on the show and I talked about a book that my uncle had written a long time ago and I was looking for one. Well, George has given me a copy of it. And so I wanted to show some love for George Keku, please. Yes. Yes. Thank you, thank you, George. Thank you, thank you. And I'm talking about Cactus Creek. In the meantime, in between time, I am so glad that I got my man here. So until I see you next week, here's some signing of saying, I am out of, let the whole world say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At year four, so who pe wine and sata me pacho pi shishe man family wine. I'm ranting me and sawo mu free Stellenberg South Africa ye ne chia kwai. Red wine na wudo ni bi ene Cabernet Sauvignon, Melo ene Syrah, white wine and so ebi ne Chardonnay ene Chenin Blanc. Who pe sa wo enjoy wine ya me pacho pi white wine no seven ice cold and a red wine and so mani nye cool kakra wo pachi di bi dia mo peni biya mani man family wine. Who ye party and a yin soa? And my real free man family wine. RT's option was Spintex Road in Crank One. And a yes, so distributor at Wagana. At the phone for 020 811 0618 059 261 1618. And now 020 816 1601. Man family wine. Oh, be a see a ye. Nom ni yansemo. Wanton many pa winning fear do mochi. And sesa pin for no be. FDA 
a she shall say a jedian crat so much yet to say a I'm a man who's 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 a